Brandish VT is the odd one out of the Brandish franchise. It has absolutely no correlation to the original trilogy, except for the fact that it has the title Brandish. In fact, according to Hardcore Gaming, VT was originally going to be an entirely new project by Falcom called Victim's Tower, hence where the VT comes from. But during the development of the game, the developers thought that the camera angle, though different from that of the three original games, reminded them of that in the Brandish series. So, Brandish was added in the title, with the VT being kept. Anyways, Falcom released VT as its last game for the PC-98, and yeah. After that, Falcom began making remakes for their previous games. As you would know, Brandish would get a PSP remake, but Brandish VT would also get a remake on Windows, where it was retitled to Brandish 4, Numero Caminato, or Tower of the Sleeping God, this version of VT retained mostly the same, with better quality graphics, newly composed music, and even two new playable characters. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, I think it's time to delve into a theory that has crossed my mind recently. What if Ares and Della, the two major characters of the original Brandish trilogy, were in Brandish VT? Today, I will be explaining how VT could potentially work with the first three games, and how Ares and Della could play a role in the story. While Brandish 3 has not yet been translated into English, a patch is currently in the works. However, the basic idea of the endings have indeed been covered. Credit goes to Varric Torernos. First off, I think we need to address the big elephant in the room here. Umber and Jinza, the other two playable characters aside from Ares and Della. Umber's ending is quite simple and generic, as it is basically Ryu's ending from the Street Fighter series. Umber seeks to fight stronger opponents and get stronger herself and Jinza ends up, spoiler alert, dying to the Sacred Stone and falls to the same fate as the game's antagonist. Now then, what happens to Ares and Della? Well, Ares simply leaves to go on another adventure, and Della leaves Morel in her hometown to hunt Ares down again, even though the feud between them about Balkan has already been resolved. With that in mind, it isn't explicitly stated as to what happens to the two of them after Brandish 3. In fact, this is a good thing because it allows us, the player, to come up with our own conclusion about what happened to Ares and Della after Brandish 3. Therefore, we can easily come up with a story on how Ares and Della could have been led to the Victim's Tower. Brandish VT has an entirely new cast and storyline, but how will they fit in this alternate universe? Well, the main characters of Brandish VT consist of the young thief D, the mage in training Claire, and the wandering warrior Kien. These are the original three playable characters in VT, however, the sorceress Mermelada and the explorer Garahad, I know, it's probably supposed to be Galahad, were added as playable characters in Brandish 4 as well. Anyways, how I would work this out is the same way Brandish 4 did it, except replace Mermelada and Gowerhead with Ares and Della, and keep D, Claire, and Kien. We need to know how Ares and Della arrive at the Victim's Tower. Each character in VT and 4 had their own motives for how they got to the tower. For example, D was caught robbing a castle and was captured. As a result, he was brought back to the tower to work there as punishment, and Claire is sent there to complete a final trial of her course for her magic guild thing. And Kian was snooping around the tower only to get injured badly and lose their memory. So, what's the story for Ares and Della? Well, we already know that Ares is cursed to a fate of eternal conflict and has a habit of arriving at the wrong place at the wrong time. Basically, he's a more cursed version of Adel Christian from the E series, who arrives at the right place at the right time. Anyways, it would simply be that fate leads Ares to the tower, with Della chasing him not far behind. Anyways, it could very well be possible for the two of them to get into another conflict, only to be spotted by the guards of the tower and captured the same way D was. Maybe they could even be put in the same cage as D, further bonding the relationship between the three. I mean, Della and Morel already met Dee and Claire in the Ragpix Athletic Festival, so maybe some more depth as to why Della now hates Dee so much, aside from stealing her prize, would be a nice touch. Maybe Ares and Kien could fight each other. Maybe Della and Mermelada would get along. There's endless possibilities.
All in all, this was honestly just a fun idea that came across my mind. I feel like an idea like this could really benefit Brandish VT, making it more close to the Brandish series. Of course, VT is fine as it is, but I think it would have been better off simply being called Victim's Tower. I mean, aside from some similar game mechanics and the fact that it has Brandish in the title, VT isn't technically a Brandish game. But despite those flaws, I think VT and its remaster are certainly worth checking out, even though I have not played them yet. Anyways, this is Daniel Movie Production signing out, and let me know if you have any other cool ideas to add, or if you think that this idea is decent. Let me know in the comments below. Oh my god, it's LOL Meowage's PFP.